Well, this is Gemini and I gotta say this is the best place if you want to generate or modify a picture using a model called Gemini Nano Banana. So this model has been quite phenomenal because it is just very good at creating and of course editing a picture. I have made so many videos about how you can utilize another banana to create a brand new picture based on a prompt or some image for references and so far the results have been quite satisfactory. But Gemini is actually not the only place where you can create a new picture using another banana because Google actually has so many AI tools that you can use as alternative for Gemini and they do come with Nano Banana so you can use those tools to generate and of course modify a photo using Gemini Nano Banana. So I'm going to show you some free tools that were made by Google that are available publicly and you can access those tools from any countries and they are featuring the same capability as the one in the official Gemini web or app version. So the first tool that I do recommend is Google AI mode. Just navigate to google.com slash AI and you will see this page or you can also navigate to google.com and then click AI mode. So this is actually still new. They just recently added a capability to create or modify a picture using Nano Banana. And to do that, just click this plus button, click create images, or if you want to modify a picture, just click this plus button again and upload the picture. But in this case, I'll just, I just want to create a brand new picture. So again, the way you use it is the same as the one in the official Gemini web and app version, just provide a picture and perhaps you can also in include some description and Nano Banana will do the rest. And by the way, this feature also exists in Google Lens. So in case you want to take a photo via Google Lens and you want to make some modification and you can use it via that app. Anyway, the second tool that I do recommend to generate more pictures using Nano Banana is Google AI Studio. Just navigate to aistudio.google.com and if you are doing this for the first time, then you might want to log in with your Google account. And after that, you can access this fantastic tool because here there are so many AI models that are not available in the official Gemini web or app version. So this is actually made for developers. That's why the tool is quite customizable. There are so many amazing tools and tweaks that you can play around with Google AI Studio. But anyway, to create a picture using Nano Banana, just click chat and then go to images right here and then select Nano Banana as the model or you can select the model right here. It is the same thing. And after that, you can describe the picture or if you want to modify a picture, just click this plus button and click Apple file and then select the picture that you want to edit. And one thing that I like about Nano Banana in AI Studio is you can control the aspect ratio. So this option is not available in the official Gemini web or app version, which is kind of a shame because it is a simple tool. It is not something like they have to spend development time to add this simple edition. So I'm hoping that we can get this, but at the moment you can only get the simple and easy aspect ratio control via Google AI Studio. So that was the second tool that I do recommend as alternative to Gemini. But the third tool, which is the last tool that I do recommend is actually back to Gemini. So again, uh, even though let's say you are running all credits on your Gemini account to create more pictures with Nano Banana, there is actually a way to create even more pictures via Gemini. And that is by utilizing the Canvas feature. So Canvas is a tool that lets you create a brand new app using Gemini. And in that app, we can actually uh, create an app to uh, create a picture and that app is powered by Nano Banana. So one example is this app that I actually have talked more on my previous video. So this is the app and again the interface is kind of similar to Gemini. It's just a chatbot interface and you can create a picture. You can also modify a picture and again it is separated than your Gemini account. So even though you are no longer able to create more pictures using Gemini, you can still do that if you create an app within Gemini via the canvas mode 
and that app is powered by Gemini Nano Banana or Gemini 2.5 less image. So it is actually pretty amazing. And one thing that I like about using this method is there is no watermark in the picture. So it's pretty cool. And again, you can use it to generate uh, to edit a picture. And if you want to know how you can uh, create this app, I actually have made a full video on how you can use it. It is uh, easy to create. It is easy to use. And I actually have provided a prompt in the in that video. So you can copy and paste that into Gemini Canvas. And of, of course, this video, I'll just put that in the description down below, or I'll just put that in the card at the end of this video. So that's basically all the tools that you can use to generate more pictures using Nano Banana other than the official Gemini web or app version. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.